What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Q, and you know, it seems like Hinata's really struggling to find a way to make this camp useful because he's just a bot boy, what can he do? He's just watching all the other players train, he's just collecting the boss, making drinks for the team, like what, how's that gonna help? But it seems like at the end of the last episode, he figured something out. He found a way to make it useful. I'm not sure how to be honest, but well, it did seem like he definitely got his inspiration back. So I'm just curious to see what he does. Also, my boy Kageyama, they did not show him last episode, but I guess they were kind of focusing more on Hinata. So, I mean, I'm okay with that, but come on, I'm still waiting to see what Kageyama is doing over there. All right, well, without further ado, let's just get right into the episode. Hinata's walking out as a changed man. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's gone into him? Can't wait to watch them at the Nationals. You can't. What does that mean? <laughs> and not so you idiot, that was your job. <laughs> oh, wait, they're gonna keep playing? Yeah, there he goes with his unstoppable spikes. <laughs> Oh wait, so he's kind of learning new things by watching? Oh yo, he's finally learning stuff! Good, because his defense is pretty trash. Damn, man, there's a lot to analyze when you're trying to defend. I mean, but you got the speed, though. So he needs to learn to watch the players, their movements, their actions. Yeah, I guess he'll learn a lot by doing that. Oh, he sees the movement. That was sick, man. Uh, the Libro did like a little hop, like bam, bam. Oh, he's watching it. So he does a little hop. And then jumps to the side. He's asking a tennis player. <laughs> What'd you expect? I don't think he plays tennis. <laughs> so he's always had this problem with any sports. Oh wait, that's what the Libro is doing. How to smash? <laughs> it's okay, he was pretty young. A splatter step? So it has a name? Oh, split step. He does the little hop. Yo, he not just gonna learn to do this? Oh, shit. Dang! Wait, he's practicing it. <laughs> I mean, at least he got the bar. Okay, it did hit his face. <laughs> That's why he's good at blocking. <laughs> and finally, he's analyzing a match. Watching the players, not just the bar. See, that's been his problem. He only used to watch the bar. Hell yeah, dude, Hinata's learning so much. Another day where we don't see Kageyama. Dang, <laughs> not even gonna give him a little bit of food, man? The coach is being a bitch. Oh my god. He just butt hurt that he lost. He butt hurt. Yeah, yeah, well, she walked, just walk away. <laughs> oh, he wants to keep practicing? I'm sure Hinata will help. Oh, he's gonna practice? <laughs> Maybe he'll pick up the boss? <laughs> I thought he would practice with them. <laughs> but 
He's actually a really good spiker. What has he not felt it before? <laughs> he fell for it. <laughs> yeah, it does feel nice. I will work. But he's not just gonna catch the boss. It's not official camp hour, so he could be playing. Oh, is he gonna practice that little hop technique? Uh, I guess it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> yeah, it's not something that you're gonna get on your first try. That's fine, Hinata. I mean, you gotta practice. At least he sees it. Look, he even got there on time. So he is improving somewhat. Wait, just from the set? Ah, but the poor guy hasn't eaten. That's messed up. They don't feed him. What? He does that every day? Or just to get to this camp? Ah, oh, not this moment, man. Why'd they have to show this? It's in this, this is intense, dude. What is he not so gonna eat? <laughs> what do you mean? Some meat? <laughs> oh, sports ring. That is true. He's running around all day and jumping. Wait, he's writing this down? Does he not know this? <laughs> ah, yeah, well, learning how to eat is also super important. Not just for sports, but for your life. I hope the coach sees this, man. That Hinata's actually getting kind of smarter. Not a ball chaser now. I kind of miss the old ones where they would, like, try to serve and hit a, a water bottle. <laughs> Okay, so Karasun is over here having a practice match. True, if you can do it in practice but not in the match, then it's useless. Alright, well, let's see them Yamaguchi serves. I guess he's still practicing. Ooh, Asaki with them jump serves. Nishinoya setting. Uh, they're pretty trash, but they are just practicing these new moves. Wait, Tanaka is about to do a powerful serve? Wait, he does jump serves now? Oh my gosh, well he's gonna get there one day, man. Wait, they didn't lose that badly, actually. A school tradition. <laughs> yeah, everyone did. <laughs> Look at that, he sees everything in slow motion now. Holy shit, that was actually really smart. Oh, he even realizes that. That's right, man. He's not just trying to take advantage of being a Bob boy. And that's how he's gonna get better. That's right, man. In every sport, you need to think. And you're not gonna be a monster, man. <laughs> oh, he's getting better at being a ball boy, at least. <laughs> True, this isn't actually a match, but I mean, it's still practice. Oh, he's still thinking about that split step. Does Suki see this man? Does he see the hard work he not putting in? What the hell you're just watching? <laughs> what, they think Kageyama's a monster? <laughs> they should, man, because he is. 
Look at him, man. Handing out drinks with passion now. Desperate? <laughs> what kind of insult is that? Yeah, defeating Kageyama is gonna be a hard task. Oh, right, these people don't actually know. Nah, what? Kageyama? Alright, finally we're about to witness this training, man. But who's that pretty boy? Kageyama doing work. Dang, man, everyone here is a high level player. Oh, shit, who's that? Look at that, the bot just doesn't touch the ground. Oh, he's having fun! Yeah, that was a little bit high, Kageyama. Wait, what? That was so bad! Oh no, what's Hinata doing to him? Yeah, there's only one person that can spike that. What? That's how we're gonna see if Kageyama? Look at them receives now, though. Look, boy, he's not just gonna be here wasting his time as a Bob boy. He's gotta find something. Why, though? Does the coach see it? I mean, everyone sees it. Oh, he's imagining he's in the game right now. Yeah, but in the real game, you don't catch the Bob. Have to receive it and throw it in the air. That's totally different. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get distracted for one second and you're fucked. Of course, the coach is yelling. Otsuki finally gonna talk to him? Why? What? This is weird. Why would Suki want to talk with Hinata? That was that ending. Was Suki just gonna go and talk with Hinata or was he gonna tell him to go with him to eat? Because it seemed like the training was already over so you know everyone there was already gonna go to sleep. They were gonna go eat and stuff. And since Hinata wasn't invited, the coach isn't letting him stay. Although Suki inviting Hinata to eat would be a little bit too nice. So he probably just wants to talk with him about something. Either way, it is strange for Suki to be doing that. But Hinata finally found a way to improve while being the Bob boy. As expected, he's just watching the game, you know, analyzing what's happening. But his problem was that he would always watch the Bob, follow the Bob, just chase for it, which would sometimes work out because he has really fast reflexes, but he never thought about analyzing the players, which tells you even more information. By watching the movements that players do, the decisions, you can basically tell where the boss gonna go, where they're gonna spike, where you need to move, and also where you need to spike. You need to watch where the other team is so that you can spike somewhere where they're not gonna get the ball. So yeah, there is a whole lot of analyzing in volleyball. I'm just surprised that Hinata wasn't actually doing any of that before. We know Suki and Kageyama do that basically every game. I'm sure the third years have enough experience to know that they have to analyze the players. The second years, Tanaka and Ishinoya, I'm not so sure. They do seem like the type that just, you know, play with instinct. But hey, I mean, it's been working out for them. And now Hinata, the guy who, you know, arguably is pretty bad at volleyball. It's just, he's on the team because he can run really fast. He's got high jumps. He's got good reflexes. And most important of all, because of Kageyama. You know, not many setters could actually make Hinata useful and make use of his reflexes and speed. But I mean, Kageyama being the god that he is, he found a way. Speaking about Kageyama, we got a glimpse of his training. He was playing a practice match with all the other players that were in the camp. We saw a bit of him. Some setter who, I mean, looked pretty cool. They animated some like cool foot movements when he went to go set the ball. And Kageyama setting the ball for some 
for the spiker. And then one part Kagiyama tried to hit the ball, but he got blocked by some like white haired dude. And then when the ball was in the air, Kagiyama was getting a little bit too excited, man. He was forgetting that Hinata's not there. And he did one of his crazy super fast sets that nobody but Hinata could get. I mean, simple mistake. They did mention it was just the first set, but I mean, he's got to learn to fix that. He can't be doing that shit. Because I don't think Hinata's going to be with you forever, my guy. But Karasuno seems to be improving their serves, which is super important because before it used to only be like uh kageyama and asaki who would do like pretty powerful serves which is very important because a good serve could end up in a chance ball for you because if you're there just serving on normally man well the opponent are just gonna be able to easily receive it and create a an opportunity for a spike so it's nice to see that they're improving on that karasuno is gonna be a deadly team in the nationals or at least i think man i have no idea what type of teams are gonna be there. But Karasuno is gonna be a better team, that's for sure. So I can't wait to watch the day when they finally have a match at the Nationals, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you guys stick around.